Hey, what's up, guys? John Hammond here, bringing you another YouTube video for the Junior CTF. Uh, in this case, I want to show off the Clone Attack Challenge, which was supposedly the trivial, like, easy beginner level uh, one for forensics. So, uh, we're 300 points now because of the fluctuation. And uh, it says, Gravity Falls is under Clone's attack. Find the real Dipper and save the town. And there's a bunch of stuff here. So this is, believe it or not, a link. <laughs> this image is a link. I don't know if you would have, have seen, but regardless. Um, it's a 7-zip archive. You can go ahead and download that. And I'll open it with Archive Manager. And there's a bunch of images here, which are a bunch of Base64 stuff. So I want to go ahead and extract this stuff. I'll put it to Juniors, and I'll create a new folder for it, Clone Attack. So, extract them all there. Show the files. Okay, so now we have a bunch of images of Dipper, who I guess is the character in, in Gravity Falls. The CTF is based off of that, so. Let's get back to it. Let's check out the Clone Attack challenge, and there is all of our stuff. So, these are all JPEG files. Uh, they all are actual JPEG files. They're all clones, though, so... Like, you can see the file name changing, but they're literally just duplicates of themselves. However, yet all of them are the same. Like, if you select one of them and try to diff it with some other things, what I did was I actually... I think I did, like, ls, and I did, like, wow, read line. Um, I guess I could... Yeah, all the JPEGs are fine. Wow, read line, um, diff this... Like one of one random one with another one. It oh I shouldn't put a do here. It does tell me that every single one of them differs in some way. So okay, what is the real? What is the actual original image? Whatever. Some other thing that I was interested in was the base sixty four stuff. So what I did was I again read through everything. I would base sixty four. I would actually okay. So I'd echo the line. So I get the file name for everything, and I do some bash string substitution, so I remove the JPEG extension with nothing, and then I displayed that, and I piped it into the base64-d code. But it is garbage. There's nothing really there. Um, <laughs> so that didn't help me. Uh, next, because I'm curious what all these things are, I actually ran through with exif tool on one of them. And I get... This information, here's a file name, JPEG image, obviously. I didn't know what this current IPTC digest is. It looked like a hash, so I googled that for a little bit. And the comment here was interesting. It said the flag is the MD5 sum of this file. It's true. I don't... I thought, okay, immediately, sweet, I got the flag. And then I just take the MD5 sum of, like, that file. And I submitted that, and, you know, whatever the case did, that didn't work. That's, that is incorrect. So, um... When I do this, I actually I actually try to run exif tool on all of the JPEG images, and you'll notice that it has the exact same um, comment for every single file. So interesting. Um, when I run exif tool on the old one, though, I'm oh, sorry. Another thing that I should have noticed or uh, was looking at is this object name. Because this object name is another thing that changes with everything. Uh, 230 currently. But this is this is Russian text, right? So I don't know what this actually is. What I did is I Googled it initially. I Googled Translate. I think I just... Yeah. Google Translate. Whatever. Just get me to a translator. No photocopies. I don't know what that means. Oh, no. I should be Russian. Yeah. Photocopy room or whatever. Or... Regardless, I thought it was very curious because that also changed with everything. I tried to see if Exif Tool wasn't giving me all the information that I needed. So I actually ran like identify verbose on all these files. And that would fluctuate really quick. Oh god, this must be like seizure inducing. But I notice, again, the comment changes and the photocopy room changes with every single file. It still says, though, and I'm still caught up on the fact that the f uh, the signature is the same. I thought that was interesting for every single file. I'm still caught up on the fact that the exit tool says the file name is the MD... The, fi the flag is the MD5 of this file. So... Can you give me... Give me a file. I want this one. So, what I did for one thing is I tried to see, oh, is the MD5 sum equivalent to this current IPTC digest? Because I had Googled that IPTC digest. And apparently an exit tool, if you do a little bit of research on it, 
it says, oh, sure, it's just the MD5 digest of existing IPTC data. And I Google, like, okay, what is IPTC data, et cetera, et cetera. So I thought MD5, it must be MD5. So I compared, I literally took the MD5 sum of every single one of these files and then compared it with this, did their IPTC digest to see what maybe one of those matches up. Again, I was just like a gross, disgusting, like, bash while loop. But that wasn't right. So what I ended up doing was grepping through more of them. And because I used identity, I saw that this photocopy room changes. So I took, because it changes, I was wondering, like, I wonder if any of these have an odd thing to them. So I looked through all the JPEGs again, all the images, and I grepped for, in, in uh, Exif tool, it's called object name. So object name. And I got, whoa, I don't know if you saw it breeze by, but one of them looked different than all the others. You can see it real quick. It just like flies by. I was too quick. I was too quick that time. Oh. You can see it. This guy right here. Again, Russian text. So I, I don't, I'm not Russian. I don't know what this says or what it does. Um, so just to like display more easily, I can grip out all the other stuff. And there's this guy. So I'm curious, what is this? Again, Russian text. So I go to my Google Translator. Translate. Come on. Go to English. It says, oh, the original Dipper. Okay, so I know it must be this one. I know this must be it. Um, so what I ended up doing, just to like track it down, I again took all this, like the exit tool, and I put this in like a uh, all log thing. And I tried to like search for. I just can. Uh, I opened it up in Sublime and search for that string. So I know. Oh, okay, it's this guy. It must be this file. It looks the same as all the other ones because it's just a duplicate. It's a clone. But when I take out exif tool on that guy, the original Dipper, and that is what I want to take the actual interpretation. The flag is the MD5 sum of this file, the original dipper. So I ended up taking the MD5 sum of that guy, and that is the flag. So you submit that being the MD5 sum of the original dipper, and you get points. <laughs> so I, I struggled with this one for a while because, like, I don't know how to, how do I determine what all of these are different because they all look different. Which is the original one? How do, is there like I tried Googling? Is there a real picture, an already established JPEG image of this character in Gravity Falls that's the exact same size and everything that they didn't tamper with? Um, but eventually, I saw this object name and how it was differing and how there's a unique one. So uh, that. Again, the Russian translation led me to find this is the original Dipper, take the MD5 sum of the file, and this is the flag. So, crazy, crazy challenge, and again, a lot of guessing. <laughs> but whatever, that's okay. I still got a flag, so a flag is a flag. So, Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, we'll check out some of the other challenges, Dirty Repo, and some other ones coming in a future video. So, see y'all soon.